Welcome back to Roll Interview, where we talk about all things nerdy and awesome. I'm Jim. And I'm Alex. And welcome back to our We Do Stupid Shit with D&D Characters. <laughs> Pretty sure that name changes every time, but I don't really care. It's, like, it's, uh, de- it's devolving as it's getting later, that's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, basically. So, uh, as we've done for the past few weeks, we've uh, just built some really stupid <laughs> D&D character combinations that are definitely not min-maxed. But some, are really fun and uh, and work. Some may say stupid. We say inventive. You never know the new meta of a game unless until you try it. And no one expects a giant Goliath to cast spells at them, or a halfling to get really angry and chop off your knees. <laughs> I mean, he's a halfling. He can only go so high. <laughs> <laughs> I am a halfling. Beware your Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> this week, we are uh, diverging again from normal, and this time we are going with a no monk. It's uh, actually a pretty weird combo, especially because you tend to see gnomes as like wizards because yeah. of that high intelligence, intelligence bonus, and only the wizards use that high intelligence it's bonus. It's in, it's in the same realm as the halfling barbarian. It's just something you're like, wait, what? Yeah, basically. It's not even, like, that magical either. No, it's just kind of there. Yep. This, wait, this is the person fighting? I am lost. Why? <laughs> Why is he a monk? Well, Unarmored strike, key strikes, right to the knees. Right? Take out the kneecaps. Again, we like the little characters. Harder to hit. <laughs> Funnier to watch you hit yes. other people. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Especially if it's a monk who flips and stuff. Like, oh, man. Yeah, but a flip's just like chest height. A normal monk would be like flipping over you. So no one's just like, chest punch! Flip. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as we always start off, we gotta roll some stats. And, reminder, as always, uh, to roll stats, take 4d6 dice. And uh, you roll, uh, roll 4, take the best 3. We only have 3, so we'll ro- roll 3. Reroll the lowest one and Hope take whatever number was better out of the two. Yes. Um, also seems to work better with our luck than rolling four for rolling four, whatever um, reason. Yeah. Because it's weird. Fuck us. So. Here we go. This one. Not bad. Eight with a four, four, three. Rerolling the three, four. So twelve. Twelve. Not bad. I'm going to start at the top and we can go down the list. Yeah. All right. Next roll. Same four, thing. Four, three. I can keep it on the damn table, Alex. I have trouble with that, apparently. Okay, four, four, three, so that's an 11. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 11. Ten. It's a three, not the two that he just rolled. Yep. All right, let's keep it going. That's not bad. Uh, six, four, one, so we automatically have 10 to roll on the one for nine, 11. Uh, Another one. Yay. Keep going down the list with that. We have average rolls. Yes. Good step. Ooh, 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 ooh. Five, six, three. That's a good so one. Let's go eleven. Yes! Six. Seventeen. Seven. Okay. I think we found our dex modifier. So do I. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep going down and we'll we'll be able to move them as oh, need yeah. be. So. You know, finally, our first good stat in a while. Right? That's so, uh, five, three, three. So, starting with eight. There we go. Alright, so that's 14. There we go, there we go. We're starting to get some good stats in here. I like it. You should go back and redo all of our other videos and get good stats for them. Right? Now we're finally rolling. Either or. If you keep it on the goddamn table. No. That's... R- roll it again. Oh yeah, I mean, it didn't it rolled really off roll the, the table the first time, so that was a three. And a three. three. Okay, so 15. So 15. Alright, this, this guy has some stats. All right, so our numbers are 12, 11, 11, 17, 14, and 15. Safe to say, dex 17. Yeah, uh, especially since once you, uh, I mean, it might even be from the beginning, but it, really, you don't need strength because your unarmed attacks, you can use a dex, and most of the weapons that they'll use or can yeah. use are finesse, so you can use dex anyway, so there's no point to put a big no, thing in strength. not at all. I would say we have intelligence and stay and strength as the two elevens. 
because yeah. Gnome gets the boost to intelligence anyway, so... Yeah, it'll be a 13. Yeah. Oh, darn. Oh, yeah, and... Oh, we'll, we'll look at... We'll look at subclasses later, because that... Yeah. God. Or sub-races. Sub, sub yeah. So, we have Constitution, Wisdom, and Charisma with for 12, 14, and 15. Which one do we want with each? Uh... 15 in Constitution. Since okay. monks tend to I be like up front, they're going to want more hit points. I like it. I like it. So do you want to keep the charisma of a 12? Because the monks are a bit more stoic. They're not yeah. fast talkers that much. I think that would Which is, fit into it. Yeah. Which is funny, because sometimes gnomes are fast talkers. That's true. But it's fine. They don't have to be good at talking. They just but, talk a lot. But this gnome is a bit different. It different. Different. It, it is. We're different. <laughs> Yay! But this gnome is a bit different. We're not doing the classic forest gnome or the rock gnome we are doing. So we're doing the uh, deep gnome from the Elemental Evil book. Um, really because it's fun. It's, fun, it's interesting, and uh, it, it could play well with some of, uh, some of the monk classes. Classes. So starting off, first let's put the... Uh, the racial bonuses in there, the upgrade to the gnome. Yeah, so obviously all gnomes get plus two to intelligence, yep. but the deep gnome gets plus one to dexterity, which takes that 17 up to an 18, which is a plus four, which is awesome. Already off the gate. This is our best character so far, and depending on what we do, I might actually keep this character. <laughs> this, is a, this is an awesome character. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking this one already. I'll allow it. <laughs> Like DM in like all of your games. I know. <laughs> all right. I don't get to play. No, you don't. <laughs> I really don't. This is the sad part. I know it's it's sad. Um, unless we're raging at siblings of people. Yeah, true. <laughs> um. So the alignment of the deep gnomes, um, pretty, uh, pretty neutral. They just, yeah. they're not evil like a lot of the things that live in the Underdark yeah. uh, that are varying races like Drow or like Dugar. Um, they're still not terrible hu- like beings. Yeah, they're not terrible, but they're not bastions of light either. Yeah. Um, plus, they're like pretty good at stealth stuff because they can yeah. just like hide. They have like advantage... On like rocky terrain, yeah, because they just like hide in it, which is pretty nice. Um, and superior dark vision, which is like very nice, one hundred and twenty nice. feet as opposed to sixty feet of normal dark vision. Um, and unlike, uh, unlike the drow, they don't seem to actually have the, uh, the disadvantage in sunlight. Or like the drow, if something's in direct sunlight. They actually have, like, disadvantage seeing it and all that. But the deep gnomes don't. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, so that's a wonderful balance. I think everyone to stop people from doing so much elf stuff, they tried to get, uh... They're trying to branch out to the and other races. They're like, races. look, other cool, ca- other cool races exist. Um, Everyone's a freaking elf. God. Oh, but elves are so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, they get that extra bonus. It's pretty awesome. And the alignment, we're thinking, what, probably... Just, just probably just straight neutral. Yeah. I think that's pretty fair. They can go a bit in all directions into what they're yeah. doing. Makes sense. They can pretty much just roll with the party, whatever the party's doing. Yeah. They're, they're not going to be the ones directing the party no. to, go, to do a certain thing. They're just going to kind of go with it. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Not bad. Not bad character to have. So, I'm going to get to the monk part of this. Yeah, the fun monk part. Is it? Um, so, monks are kind of ridiculous. First, they get saving throws and strength and dexterity. Great. Great start right there to have. So, I mean, at, at level one, if it has to do a dex saving throw, our gnome has, what, a plus, s- five. plus six? Two proficiency bonus. Yeah, it's gonna be so ridiculous. Yeah. Um, 
That's nice. Yeah. That is nice. <laughs> it's just dumb. And it's just dumb stupid. being a monk, we get to pick uh, the skills. We get to pick two of either acrobatics, athletics, history, insight, religion, or stealth. Well. I think in acrobatics and stealth. Acrobatics and stealth. I think are this guy <laughs> perfectly. Yeah, I mean, they're... That is exactly what he does. Yeah. I shouldn't assume our character's gender. Since I'm taking the character, it will be a he. I don't know. What if you play a girl? Or what if the DM casts a spell on you, making you a girl? Then she'll be a badass. True. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoy fucking with you. So, for the background, we're going with the Outlander. Because the Underdark is a strange spell place and you'll need skills to survive and work in the underdark and it fits pretty well with the character yeah and he can get he had one type of musical instrument so he can get some like kind of creepy like kind of flute to play to like doing his stuff because he's a monk so he's going to do something to keep his time or the bagpipes no that is against the that, one can he carry it it's as big as he is i'm I would allow it. Mainly because I just like letting people use <laughs> bagpipes. Because everyone loves a good bagpipe. Sometimes. Never. <laughs> Nobody loves a good bagpipe. Like, there's like one Irish guy who likes a ba- the bagpipe. He's the only one who plays the bagpipe. Yeah. Everyone else in town's like, what are you doing? Can someone stab the bagpipe yeah. so it'll stop working? All right. And beginning, first thing, because he is a monk, he gets an armor defense. Yes, he does. Which, because of his glorious dex, is pretty decent. It's 10 plus uh, dex plus wisdom yeah. modifier. So, yeah, so it's 10 plus 4 plus 2. So 16 right Starts off the bat. Starts off the bat with a 16 dex modifier. All right. That is... It's going to be all right. This guy, this guy's this guy got it. He's going so far. He's going places. And then since being a monk martial arts, when he's using unarmed strikes, he can use his dex instead of the strength for the strikes. He's set with that. Yeah. Go in there, normal. He's used a D4 for his normal damage for, under, for unarmed strikes, which is great. He's yeah. a normal just one. And, so, and that gets stronger, which is yeah. which is great. Because that's the wonderful thing about the monk. You can make so many unarmed defense, or not defenses, uh, unarmed attacks, um, especially at higher levels when you get like a second attack and you're using your, your key points for flurry blow, stuff like that. And your unarmed attacks get stronger and stronger as you level yeah. up. Um, and, I mean, you end up doing just tons of damage with, like, 1d10 damage for each hit with your fists at, like, level, what, 17? Yeah. It's it's pretty nice. Yeah. All that. Then this, he goes, since he is a monk, they have their key points. And since he has a nice wisdom modifier, he has the two for that. That's 8 plus his proficiency, so that's starting out 10 and 12. With his wisdom modifier, so yeah, twelve so, keys safe. Yeah, so anytime he, anyone has to make a, a saving throw against yeah. something he's using his key points for, uh, twelve's not bad. No, not bad I mean, at all. Not, not amazing, but not bad. But for level one, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, along with that, though, I mean the monks can do tons of stuff, um, and we don't have to go into to every single one of them. Um, but we do got to choose a subclass. We do need to choose a subclass. And when we were going through this and we found that deep gnome uh, subclass for the gnome race itself, we thought there's nothing more perfect than the way of the shadow. Right? Like this guy who lives in the Underdark in caves where he already can be stealthy. Now he can do like ridiculous things in the shadows. Like It just seemed to fit with him perfectly. That's true. Like starting off at the third level, he can use some key points to duplicate some certain spells, such as darkness, dark vision, past thought trace, or silence. Perfect for sneaking around and getting in good position. Oh yeah, and he'll eventually be able to like 
basically teleport like up to 60 Set. feet within sh- Set. like from one shadow to another. Starting 6th level, he gains what's called the Shadow Step, which when there's dim light or darkness, as a bonus action, you can teleport up to 60 feet to an unoccupied space as long as it's in the dim light or darkness. Right. And then you have advantage on your first attack out of that. Yeah. Te- You're just, I mean, you are literally just jumping around and getting basically sneak attacks yeah. on people, which is awesome. And that's only for five levels, because starting at 11, you get to become invisible, because you become one with the shadows. Yeah, oh darn, you're invisible. <laughs> yeah, the the way the shadow, he can just disappear in and out of things, it, you're going to have a lot of fun with it, especially since oh, he's yeah. so small anyway. This guy's just going to go over there, and all of a sudden, his kneecap is just going to be just exploded, and he's going to be on the ground. Right? Like, just right from behind. Take him out, and he can get knocked prone. You, you're just breaking people's legs and knees. Yeah. <laughs> strike, 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 strike. Or right there. Or my favorite move, the junk shot. <laughs> you always go back to that. You know, mainly because I think it's funny to watch people get hit in the nuts. Or if you're going and you're behind someone and they don't know it, and that, and that other creature makes an attack upon your friend... Oh, you yeah. still, and then at level 17, because they did a strike, you can just strike them. Yeah. Just because, no, you don't get to, you don't get to do an attack. Ah! <laughs> you don't get this. Yeah, monks, monks get absolutely ridiculous. Yes, they do. Uh, I mean, this is just... Check out cool. all of the monks' subclasses just for some of the crazy stuff they oh, get. Yeah. Like the, the open palm subclass at level 17... You gain basically lethal vibrations that you can inflict on someone. Where you hit them with this, they get the vibrations, and when you feel like it, you basically can just kill them. Yeah. They got to make a DC. If they fail it, they die, and if not, they take ten d ten necrotic damage. That's when they. That's when they succeed the saving throw. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Um, and the way of the four elements, you're basically avatar. Yeah. You get to do. Sp- you get to. You're the avatar. Punch a- crap ton of people and then cast a bunch of magic so oh no anyone who grew up watching avatar the last airbender this is the class for you you can reenact that dream oh yeah uh yeah no i think i this is probably our best character looking over the oh, character yeah, this right is now. an amazing character i i'm liking it a lot he is a really awesome just layout and with i mean really you need two great or good stats and you're set. Yeah. I think the stats are pretty good. You don't have to worry about really maxing out so many different ones. You have a couple key ones and you can have a really good solid character. Yeah. I mean, dex, wisdom, constitution for some hit points, and you're good. Yeah. Um, especially, I mean, you have the unarmed defense, unarmed attacks. The teleporting, getting advantage because of the way of the shadow. Um, I mean, this this really just seems to work. Yeah, the intelligence bonus from the race is a little well, wasted, but I mean, unless you make a gnome wizard, it's going to be wasted. Yeah. So, and I feel like gnomes are grossly underutilized anyway. They're they're fun little characters, especially when it comes to role play, which. People don't put enough emphasis on when they're making characters, I feel, sometimes. Yeah. They're fun characters, especially this. And what's you don't have... It's nice not having a stupid character sometimes, because sometimes you need to know history. You can do check Arcana. He has the key, so he can try to help a little bit with some Arcana. Oh, yeah. Going on investigation. Like if he has to plan something out, that's always a good skill to have. And religion, knowing on what some of the religions and nature yeah. are going on. There are good skills to have. That modifier is not going to complete to waste. No. Uh, but all in all, I agree with you. I think this is the best character. Also, because we kind of rolled the best stats with this character. We finally rolled amazing. It was a little shaky there in the middle, but at the end, we pulled off a couple of really we good did. stats that I'm we needed. I'm so happy we finally did. I know. I was like, we hadn't seen a 16 or better since we started doing these, and we finally got one. Right? Thank goodness. So... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the weird combo D and D character we made this time. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's good. Yeah, awesome. 
Well, uh, if you uh, like this video, please hit that like button down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification uh, so that you are actually notified when we post new videos yeah. or start live streaming, which we sometimes do on YouTube. We're doing we're, more we're, on we're, Twitch. We're, we're trying to get better. Just life gets crazy. Life does get crazy. But we have been streaming a whole lot more on Twitch just randomly kind of throughout the week. Yeah. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you look for us over on Twitch, same name, Roll and Review, uh, check out our our social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, at Roll Review, or just Roll and Review on Facebook. See, on Facebook, I like to just get bored and scrounge through things all day and try to post punny, funny, punny, 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 punny and funny pictures whenever I can. A lot of Star Wars. And Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this is a lot of the two. <laughs> Basically. Um, if you have ideas of what we can try to make next time, please drop it in the comments down below or tell us what you think about our characters. Uh, we'll, we resp respond to basically everything you send us. Yeah. So um, please comment and we will we'll have a conversation with you about this stuff. Yeah, and can't wait to see you all next time.